Welcome to PowerTech Insights. In this tutorial, I will provide a comprehensive guide how to adjust and commission generator AVR automatic voltage regulator. Let's get started. Part 2. In this part, we're going to learn how to adjust high excitation, dip and dwell control, safety precautions. To ensure safety, always verify proper grounding before testing. Use PPE to protect yourself, including gloves and safety glasses. Ensure that all safety protocols are in place, such as lockout tagout and PDW procedures. These activities should only be carried out by qualified and or experienced engineers who have received safety training on live equipment. All test instruments and their leads connectors probes must be checked to ensure that they are suitable for the voltage levels being tested and are in good working order. Never attempt to test a live generator without another competent person present to shut down the engine or switch gear as necessary. Ensure that the work area is safe. Other personnel in the area are advised of what you are doing. Warning notices and tapes are displayed to advise others of the hazards. Required equipment and tools. Digital multimeter for measuring voltage resistance and continuity. Clamp meter for measuring AC-DC current without disconnecting wires. High excitation protection circuit. Fitted as standard to all AVR type of and MX with permanent magnet power supplies. The control adjustment is factory sealed and should not be altered without consultation with the factory. Operation level, trip level, is set to 70 to 75 VDC across the exciter stator input X plus ORF1 and XX negative ORF2. High excitation trip. Automatic protection against overload, low engine speed, over voltage, high temperature, a fault in the excitation system. Operation of this circuit will result in the generator output collapsing to zero volts. The LED will remain lit while the circuit is switched on. The circuit can only be switched OFF by shut down of the engine and will automatically reset as the engine stops. The excitation trip monitors the excitation voltage across the exciter stator. The circuit is powered from the PMG, which provides continuous power supply when the generator has been de-energized by this circuit. The main causes of high excitation volts. Overload current. Output voltage is too high. Incorrect adjustment, instrumentation error, or sensing supply failure to AVR. Engine speed is low. Possible overload pulling speed down. Above UFR only point or engine fault. Temperature of windings too high. Winding resistance increases with temperature. Excitation volts must also increase to compensate. A fault in the excitation system. Any minor fault which does not prevent operation of the generator will cause excitation increase to overcome the fault. The protection circuit has a time delay to prevent spurious tripping resulting from transient high excitation. This delay may be 10 seconds to 30 minutes, which is determined by the excess excitation voltage above 70 VDC. The circuit will remain switched on until the engine is stopped. The LED will remain lit while the circuit is switched on. A diagnosis of the possible causes of protection operation should be carried out immediately before reusing the generator. Enjoying the video? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon to support PowerTech Insights and keep learning with more tutorials. Dip Control The DIP control operates in conjunction with the underfrequency roll-off circuit when the UFRO circuit is on. Clockwise rotation increases the dip effect on volts HC slope when the UFRO circuit is switched on. The rate of volts drop to frequency can be increased by up to 300% above the original UFRO slope. Normally under frequency roll-off, UFRO knee point factory set at approximately 95%. Dip control effect on UFRO. Clockwise increases volts dropper cycle. Dip control assists engine recovery. Especially useful for turbocharged engine sets. The engine governor, in conjunction with the dip control, may be tuned to achieve optimum performance. Excessive volts drop may affect other devices online. Dwell control. The dwell control operates in conjunction with the underfrequency roll-off circuit when the UFRO circuit is on. Clockwise rotation increases the delay effect on voltage recovery time, following a transient block loading condition, which has reduced the speed below the UFRO knee point. 
This feature is incorporated in AVR types MX321, MA325, and MA327. Normally under frequency roll-off, UFRO, knee point factory set at approximately 95%. Dwell control effect on UFRO. Clockwise delays recovery time to normal voltage levels. Dwell control assists engine recovery by delaying volts recovery under transient block loading conditions. Especially useful for turbocharged engine sets. The engine governor, in conjunction with the dwell control, may be tuned to achieve optimum system performance. Note, excessive volts drop may affect other devices online. Stay safe. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more expert tutorials.